most bookstore owners want to sell online. The problem, the catalog upload, inventory and fulfillment make it feel impossible. They usually don't have the technical expertise. They don't want to hire anyone to just manage their online store. They're stuck wondering which POS system to use. And the whole thing just seems to be too much of a work and too much of an investment. But in reality, it doesn't have to be. Today, I will show you how to set up a brand new Shopify store and connect it directly to Ingram's more than 12 million titles. So you can launch fast without inventory headaches and without hiring additional stuff. We already helped well over 100 bookstores launch online this way. And just so you know who's walking you through it, I'm Pavel from Emersoft and we built the only Ingram approved integration with Shopify. Before we dive into the actual setup, let's stop for a moment and talk about the most common challenges that we hear from bookstore owners on our calls. Because if you are watching this and nodding your head on at least one or two of these, this video is going to be a game changer for you. Uploading products manually with all the data like cover images that are suitable for e-commerce store descriptions, curating books by categories, by sex subjects, organizing your books in your store manually with collections, handling pre-orders, filtering and using raw FTP data from Ingram, managing an online store while running a brick and mortar location, keeping books prices up to date. They change constantly and you don't want to issue refunds due to inaccurate pricing. Don't worry, we understand your pain. Let me show you how we solve those challenges for our clients. All right, let's get into it. I'm here on the Shopify website and let's start a new store. Uh, navigate up here, start for free and you will need to register. I already did that. So you don't need to go through this process with me. Select the account and we go to a new store. You can either go through the customized setup. Shopify will guide you through, but for this uh, video, I will skip that. So I'm here in my new Shopify store. I have no products, nothing is set up. First of all, we will start with the application because this is going to be the core of the whole setup. I'm here in my test store and the application is already installed. I navigate to the app and as you can see here, I have this advanced filtering on the top and the books list on the bottom. Now, for this application, we have access to all Ingram catalog of products and I'm not only talking about books because they have way more like board games, maps, notebooks and things like that. So everything is here and through the filtering section here, you can really browse Ingram's database. And now we can use keywords, ISBNs, authors, like even the age, you can filter by different age. And this is very helpful if you want to create a collection for, let's say young adults or only children books. So now let's say I want to do a history books. I go and search a uh, basic subject because basic subjects are categories as a industry standard. So I type history and I will see all the basic subjects that are related to history. And as you can see, there are a lot and they are very detailed. So there is no just one general basic subject for his history. And this is great for really curated selection of books. Let's say I want to go the art, history, gen uh, general, uh, and romanticism, like all those, those three basic subjects. Then I click outside, hit search. Those are my results. And if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, I will see that we have 30K results. So this query, this search gave me 30,000 products. And if I click on any of those, so let's say I open this book, I will see all the meta fields, all the data that is available through Ingram. So I can see the, first of all, the cover image that is already suitable for e-commerce store, online e-commerce store. We have the author, publisher, uh, the, the publishing date, binding, 
the basic subjects because this book uh, has more and audience type everything is here you can you can even see the publishing marketing all the data so let's say i want to import three of those books i select them and i hit import and as you can see there is this the import confirmation page i see the cover image titles price this is a retail price compare at price some publishers and ingram also give discounts so this will automatically uh, enable the sale tag on your product and the cost so that would be the cost if you were to fulfill that product through ingram and here we have tags and we use basic subjects to add as tags and this is very helpful because you can set up smart collections and organize automatically your store with different categories so now i'm happy with uh, with that i hit import books and all those books just like that are added to my store i'm now in my products and all three of them are already there Right now in the draft status, we can change that quickly. I can just select all of them, set as active, and they will be uh, activated. We, I can do the same with adding them to a sales channel, to my online store. Those products are already available on my store. So let's look at them. Uh, I can see everything is already populated. So we have titles, we have the description, we have the vendor here. The basic subjects as tags, this is very helpful for the organization. The cover image, we have the pricing section also up to date. The price for the, the retail price that we pull from Ingram. The cost per item, if you were to fulfill this through Ingram, compare the price to enable the sales tag. The inventory, so uh, ISBNs, inventory ISBNs are added barcode uh, field is also updated so if you use pos from shopify or any other pos that's gonna work outside of the box then we have the get books stock management which is actually a location from our app from our shopify app and this is actually ingram inventory this number is up to date at all times we also have the product weight and the additional meta field. So everything that I was showing you on my, on the previous screen with all the products data, it's all there. It can be used for a lot of different purposes. You can display additional information on the product page. You can use this for smart collections, or you can even add some additional logic like the publishing date if it's in the future then show something else on the product page so the data is there and shopify has really no limitations in terms of the customization let's go to the next step and set up the actual store storefront so i navigate to online store and by default you're gonna get the shopify default template which is not very pleasant but you also have a huge selection of templates already built by Shopify and a lot of them are for free. So let's browse what's there. First of all, you can just select the free option and here are the different industries. For our books industry, there is nothing dedicated, but we can go to entertainment and there is one template for publisher. Uh, let's see how it looks. Uh, we can do, we can see the demo looks pretty nice we can obviously customize that later but it will serve us as a good base i go back try the theme and it's being installed in my store just like that the theme is already installed in my store let's maybe add some more products we only have three of them so that's not gonna look the best the best uh, let's go here i'll type best sellers and i want to do more let's say poetry i select the uh, poetry african american and let's say asian so i have bestsellers and basic subjects for poetry let's hit search and actually there's only one that <laughs> fulfills the requirement i can select that hit import let's go back and uh, let's reset my search Let's maybe grab some from the top of the list. 
just to have something in the store. I select all of those books. Again, hit import. Everything is here. I'm happy with the selection. Import books. And those are added to my store. I go back to products. They are all in draft. So I can select, hold shift. All of them are selected, set as active. And let's do that again. Include in sales channel online store. There we go. As you can see, the inventory is already here. 8,000 books, 6,000, 6,000. Uh, this one is actually out of stock. Uh, Ingram books go out of stock and back to stock uh, pretty often. So this is all up to date. And by the way, this number is not visible for clients, for your store clients. So you don't need to be worried about this one. Let's go back to online store. And let's hit the customize. Let's see what's there. So this is just, you know, outside of the box, everything. I'm already seeing some books populated. Uh, I, I see there's a small problem with the aspect ratio for covers. So I click on this element, featured collection, and here I can select the image ratio portrait. That should look better now. Okay, so I'm fine with that. Let's also see the collection page. Uh, probably there's going to be the same issue right now. We don't have any collections, so we can set it up. Let's hit save. Go back to the store, products, collections, and I already have the poetry collection and maybe let's uh, do a history. So history, and then I can set up a smart collection. I go here tag is equal to history. So the, the tags, as I mentioned before, are basic subjects. So this is all categorized. Now I just hit save and history books are already added to my collection. I can go back to the online store, go to publisher, customize, and we can preview the collection page. Default collection, I can select the collection from here. Uh, let's do history. There are a couple of books. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's hit publish. My theme is published. You can see, you can click the view your store and we will be directed to the store. As you can see, everything is already there. I have the full description. I have recommendations for other products and with the meta fields that we pull from Ingram, they can be displayed here the way you want it. I also want to mention something very important because we get a lot of those questions from our clients. And even though if I navigate to products, I can see the inventor is there, but very often for new bookstores, the products are showing out of stock. So how to fix that? You need to navigate to settings, go to shipping and delivery, and you need to make sure there are shipping options set up for our location. So our location is a get book stock management and you need to make sure to add some delivery options. Otherwise Shopify will show that the product is just out of stock. While we're in the settings, you can also navigate to payments and start setting up your Shopify payments. And that's really it. We set up a new bookstore, installed a theme, imported, imported products, set up collections, organize your books and display them on the store. Like it's that simple. If you ever need any help with setting up a Shopify store for your bookstore or need access to Ingram data, you can find the link below in the description. Hit that subscribe button because we will be uploading a lot of videos about bookstores and setting up bookstores in Shopify. Stay tuned, guys.